I want to check Bitcoin for a moment because authorities in South Korea and China are going to or have already cracked down on these cryptocurrencies and trading in them. Gary Kaltbaum from Kaltbaum Capital Management, he's the president thereof and he joins us now. Gary, there's all, all these headlines about Bitcoin, all this movement up and down, the volatility. What do you make of it all now, bearing in mind the crackdown in Asia? Well, look, when, you, when you're an entity that goes up 15 to 20 fold in 10 months, you're going to get wild swings. You're going to get a lot of wild announcements and you're going to get a lot of crazy talk and crazy trading. And that's what you're seeing, not only in Bitcoin, but I hear this, this 2,000 coins now. Uh, Kodak just announced the coin. I think I'm going to uh, announce the cult bomb coin today and maybe uh, uh, that'll <laughs> skyrocket also. Well, you know what Kodak did? They introduced what they called a Bitcoin mining machine. They'll rent it to you and take 50% of your profits. What do you make of that? Uh, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Look, the stock went from 3 to 13 on the news. I think it's back down to 9. As I've said about all these questionable moves in these stocks, just don't be the last one in. And, you know, I think it was about three weeks ago when we started talking about it, Stuart, and a lot of those stocks that were selling iced tea and juices and cigars are down 75% from the highs. So, again, it's called picking your poison and making sure you know where something has come from before you get in. And I'm pretty sure all these stocks are going to go right back where they came from. As far as Bitcoin, when all is said and done, I don't know in the short run, but I have a, a sneaking suspicion it's going to go back where it came from also. Gary, I don't follow you because you look at Bitcoin. I follow you because you look at the overall market. So I want your opinion. Are we about to see this, the next leg up for stocks in general? All I can tell you is bear markets last three hours right now, Stuart, and every time I sell a stock, I regret it the next day. That is what is known as major strength, and we're not just having a rally. We're having a broad-based rally. In the last uh, couple of months, the commodity sector has been skyrocketing. That's a big help to the indices also. The housing stocks are, are just rolling here. KB Homes is another case in point. Lenar announced numbers, and they weren't even that good, and the stock still went up 5 6 7%. So we got a broad-based rally, and I've seen nothing this second that tells me, except for minor pullbacks, that we're, we're, gonna, we're heading for any kind of big correction. And I look for one on a daily basis, Stuart, and it just isn't happening yet. So for all of our viewers who are in the market, and most of our viewers are, stay there. That's your advice. Uh, don't do like I did yesterday. I so sold a couple of stocks, and they're both up 2 to 3% today. So uh, uh, right now, it, you hold and you hold and you hold. Momentum is momentum is momentum in the market. And we talk about it. There is just some darn great news out there. You're talking about it with Walmart. That is meaningful yeah, because is. that means more profits going forward. And if that continues, and I expect it to, uh, you know, markets are going to be in good stead. Okay. Gary Kaltbaum, always a pleasure. Join us again soon, please, Gary. Thank you very pleasure. much. Pleasure. Thank you.